Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I want to talk a few minutes about Windows 10 not shutting down properly. If you've ever gotten the screen during shutdown that says shutting down and the circle just continuously spins around in circles and doesn't ever shut down, there's a variety of things that it that could actually be causing that. I just want to show you some of the most common things that I find on a daily basis when a customer brings in a computer. Typically it's not any one thing that's going to cause your computer not to shut down. It could be one of several little items that I'm going to go over here. So the first thing I recommend, whether it's a laptop or a desktop computer, it doesn't matter. But say if you got an older computer, six, seven, eight years old, that's been upgraded, say from Windows 7 or even Windows 8 to Windows 10, um, the first thing I always check is my video driver. So if you go down to your start button in the lower left here and right click on it, go to your device manager right here. <clears throat> Once that opens up, double click here where it says display adapters and you'll find either Intel or AMD um, if you have discrete graphics or a video card. It's, a, it's very important to keep your video driver up to date. This being out of date or the incorrect driver from from Microsoft through Windows Update sometimes can cause issues even um, uh, say if your computer goes into sleep mode and it won't wake back up a lot of times more often than not it's because the video driver is either out of date or it's just the wrong driver so if you like for Intel here if you just double click it and you click on driver click on update driver and then choose this top one where it says search automatically for updated driver software it's going to do that through the basically through Windows Update um, and if it finds one and installs it, great. If that fixes a problem, then great. Uh, otherwise, it's not a bad idea to just go to your manufacturer's website and download their driver because the manufacturers like to tweak their drivers a little bit. So if, whether it's Intel or AMD, I see this more with AMD than Intel, but um, whether it's a Lenovo or a Dell or an HP or an Acer computer, um, it's not a bad idea to use the manufacturer's video drivers. So that's the first thing I'd always check is make sure I have a good updated driver for my video. Close this all out. The next most common thing that I run into is um, um, you got a task or a program that's running in the background at boot up and it's just maybe it could be something left over from an old program or something even your antivirus software or something running in the background that's just not shutting down. So again, keeping your software up to date is, is very important, just like your video drivers. So let's open up our configuration utility. There's a couple ways to do that. Uh, if you have your search box here, you can just type in MS config, then you see your system configuration. You would click on that. Or you can right click again on the start button, and go to run, and just type in MS config and hit OK. And then you want to go up here on your startup tab. And open up your task manager and chances are you're going to have a lot of items in here if you don't know what they are that's okay but if you've tried numerous different things and it's still not shutting down it doesn't hurt to just right click on these and hit disable go through the list and disable all of these uh, if you see anything in this list that refers to like driver restore driver update or anything from uh, a publisher called Slimware Utilities, you want to disable that stuff. That's basically malware. So go through this list here. Look for stuff. If you're not, not sure what it is, it's still okay. You can disable all these. As well, if you go to your services tab here, click on this. Click on this box here that says hide all Microsoft services. And any of these in here, any one of these things in here could be, again, could have some leftover malware in there, uh, antivirus software that you don't no longer have on the computer or that's out of date, um, QuickBooks. There could be a, a lot of different things in here. Um, but anything that says like registry repair, registry utilities, or driver update or driver restore, you definitely want to get rid of that. Also, it's a good idea if you go down here to your search box again and type in control 
then you see control panel pops up here go ahead and click on that this is the old legacy control panel I still like you can go to programs and features click on this and go through your list of programs now if you don't know what you're uninstalling don't don't uninstall it necessarily there's a lot of things in here that are important they're going to keep your computer running like drivers and for different pieces of hardware on your laptop or your desktop but if you see anything in here that's old software that you're no longer using or you just don't know where it came from if you know what it is go ahead and uninstall it again look for malware like driver restore driver utilities driver update slimware utilities under the publisher list here get rid of all that junk um, or any antivirus software that's free like AVG or Avast or Total AV sometimes those free antivirus sometimes can cause problems um, but you can uninstall them if you're not using them so basically uninstall programs that are just sitting there and you're not using or they're old you would just like click on it and choose uninstall or you can just right click on an individual item and click on uninstall pulls this out but under your services here make sure you check the box that says hide all Microsoft services you can click on disable all and it'll disable all these as well as go into your startup tab here and turn off everything in, in, in the task manager then hit OK apply then it will ask you if you want to do a restart so go ahead and do a restart then try shutting down your computer and when it shuts down then you know there's something in here that's that's hanging causing the system not to shut down so if you uncheck all these I know it's kind of tedious, but then after you restart, you can go in and re-enable these, re these one at a time. Uh, obviously, you know things like Google or Adobe, you definitely don't need Adobe Flash Player update and things like that. But you can go through, enable these one, two, three at a time, restart the computer, do a shutdown, and just see if you can put your finger on the one that's causing the problem. Again, these are just kind of beginner basic things you can do to get your computer shut down. So update your video driver. Check for things that are running in the background that could be causing your system to hang. Another thing that you can check is if you go to your start button here, then click on settings, go to your Windows update, update and security. Then over on the left here where it says delivery optimization, click on that. Now by default, this setting is always turned on. Now if you're not sharing downloaded updates over a local or a home network, just go ahead and shut that off. Because sometimes this can cause your system to hang. It's trying to shut down and maybe trying to share some updates or something. But also check under Windows Update here to make sure there's not a bunch of pending updates. For example, if you have a fairly slow internet connection and it's trying to download like a, a, a current or you know, feature update, for example, or a cumulative update, sometimes these can take quite a while to install or even to download. When you go down to shut down your system it might just hang and hang and hang so make sure you get all your windows updates let them finish you got to be patient again if you have a slow internet connection sometimes that can take a while um, so another thing I want to show you one other thing is if you again if you have an older system that's been upgraded say from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and you got older video drivers and things like that there's sometimes can be issues with this setting here under power so let's go to the start button here and right click go up here to power options over on the right here where it says additional power settings click on that then over on the left column here you're going to see here where it says choose what the power button does click on that Just click once then you're going to see kind of grayed out here. You can't uncheck any of these. But this one that says turn on fast startup recommended. To, to change these, you have to go up here and click right here where it says change settings that are currently unavailable. Click that. You can try turning this setting off right here. On older computers that have been upgraded to Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8, sometimes this can cause your system to hang during the post posting process, not shut down properly, or even to start up properly so uncheck that go down and click on save changes and you can try that um, what chances are one of these that I just showed you is going to fix the shutting down problem um, typically the the configuration utility the MS config the one that I showed you this little guy right here under startup and your task manager if you disable all these in here 
then just re-enable you know the ones that you know what they are that are important again some of these are important if you have like Norton antivirus or McAfee a current subscription of course you want to have that enabled um, and some other programs like that so just kind of go through them one at a time uncheck them you got to do a restart once it boots back up you got to shut it back down to see if it fixes a problem so one by one you should be able to narrow it down and again the same with the services tab here make sure you don't you, you remember to check this box here and then uncheck all these non Microsoft services restart and then try to shut down and see if the problem goes away then you can just kind of turn them on one or two at a time and you'll be able to figure out which one is causing the problem and if it's just an old leftover program that you don't use anymore you don't even know what it is go ahead and uninstall it so I hope some of these tips help you out with that um, nothing worse than your computer not shutting down so if you like my video give me a like don't forget to click on subscribe check out some of my other videos thanks for watching and have a great day